not even just about networking and branding, but it's an incredible publishing platform that is uh, blowing people away. People who are blogging elsewhere, some of them are moving their blogs over to LinkedIn. And it's just giving people so much opportunity for thought leadership. And when you do a post, it will be under your page. So these are some of my, my original posts from last year. And you'll sh it'll show there. And if you, if you, have you seen some of the profiles where you've seen those posts? Start looking. You'll start noticing them. And you can, you can go right into a blog post. That's what the platform looks like. It's really simple. And you'll see on the left-hand side your posts. You make a headline. You add an image. And then right at the bottom where it says start writing, that's where you write your post. Now this is not for you to advertise. I don't recommend you use this to advertise. You use this to write a thought leadership piece. Mm -hmm. Now the average blog post is going to be 500 words or something. In LinkedIn, it's preferable to have 800 words or more. Posts do better that are longer. Now I'll tell you something else that's pretty cool. When you post on LinkedIn, your contacts, your first level connections will get a notification saying, Sandra Long has just published a post on networking, right? And you'll get that. So that's pretty cool. But what's even amazing is that LinkedIn has this whole publishing platform, and they have certain categories under Pulse that if they like, if they, if they pick your um, post, they will distribute it much more widely than just your just your um, connections. Huge. So I had my one of my first posts. It was picked up. And I don't know how it happened. It was lucky, lucky. They put it in a career thing, and I had three thousand views. Now most of them don't have that, but if you get if you get into one of their categories where they send it across their whole LinkedIn universe, you can have a lot of views. So it's pretty amazing. 